Good morning everyone. Welcome to our devotion for today, Friday, June 26th. It's so good to have you and I'm so grateful to be here again bringing the devotion today. Today I wanted to challenge everyone of a key question. Are you prepared? When I was 17 years old, I was traveling to San Antonio, Texas for a wedding. A cousin of mine was getting married and we experienced some turbulence on the plane and I was just really distraught about what had happened even though I had my seatbelt on. And I turned to my uncle and I said, are you prepared to die? Because I'm feeling pretty scared right now. And he turned and said to me, he said, Romans 14, 8 says, when we live, we live for the Lord. When we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. And ever since then, I've really had just, um, just a comfort and a peace that, you know, if anything should happen to me, then whether I'm living or whether I've died, I belong to Christ. As a family, recently we have been going through the end times and studying Revelation and just some prophecies that the Lord has left for us in Scripture. And a lot of questions have been prompted from, from us as parents as well as our children. And some of the questions that have been presented are questions relating to what does heaven look like? What happens to our bodies? What happens to our souls? When would all these prophecies unfold? And so it's been a time of reflection in trying to understand what's going to happen and are we prepared when these things happen. Today I want to turn to John 14, 1 to 6, and you guys can read along with me. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am there you may be also. And where I go you may know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for our time together and we just pray that it would be a time of encouragement as well as a time for us to reflect on who you are as well as allowing us to consider the question, are we prepared? So we just commit these things to you, commit our time to you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In verse 1 of our passage, Jesus was speaking to the disciples and he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So the word believe is what stands out to me in that verse. It was repeated twice. So there's definitely something significant he's trying to communicate that you have to first believe and not be troubled by what's going on around you. And then he goes on to say that in his father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, he would have told us. And then he's going, he is going to prepare a place for, well, the scripture says for you, but that interprets for us. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So what's striking is that Christ is going to prepare a place for us. So prepare is 
the key word in that verse. And then in verse 3, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. He is not only going to prepare a place, but he's also going to come back to receive us unto himself. In verse 4 and 5, Thomas actually asks Christ, well, how do we know where you're going? So the question there is, how do we follow Christ? And then in the last verse, verse 6, Jesus answered Thomas and says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father but through me. So this passage is truly uh, not only a promise, but also Jesus' way of telling us, I am going to prepare a place. I am coming back. But the only way for you to follow after me is to believe that I am the way, the truth, and the life. So what does it mean to prepare? Well, it means to make ready or to make plans. We all have responsibilities in our lives and we have to prepare for various things. If we're going on vacation, we have to prepare. So what does it mean? It means we have to be ready. We have to pack our clothes. We have to make sure we have our passports. We have to make sure we have um, our sunblock, everything that we need to have a good time, as well as we may have to buy gifts for our family members, right? And so I go back to the same question. Are you prepared? If Christ was to come right now, would you be prepared? Would you be ready? Are you making plans to be ready? Are you making plans to be with him in eternity? A few other prompting questions that come to mind as I was thinking through our devotion today. Number one is, are you prepared to die? Are you prepared to meet God? And are you prepared to live in eternity with God? So you have pretty much two choices. You can live with God or not live with God for eternity. So you have to be prepared that when he comes, which we don't know, we have signs but as far as the day and the time, we do not know. So are you prepared? So as we close, here are some th thoughts that I wanted to share with you as you think about how to prepare. Well, the first one is first evaluate your relationship with God and his son. And if after doing that heart seeking and soul searching, if you feel that I don't know where I stand with God and I want to know more about how to do that and how to make my relationship better, then you can always reach out to one of us at Calvary and we'll be able to, to talk to you and walk you through um, some of those questions or thoughts that you have on your mind as you've sat down and evaluated your relationship with God. Don't fall asleep. Don't get complacent. Revisit the promises that God has for you. And lastly, live every day for Him. Thank you again for allowing me to bring the devotion to you this morning. Uh, it's been an honor to do that. And I hope that the devotion has been encouraging to you and that you would think about the question, are you prepared?